of official Hi guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be reacting to EXO Kitty Season 1, Episode 6. We are halfway through the season and I'm very, ex uh, very, I've got questions because at the end of Episode 5 we found out that Alex's dad is Mr. Lee, the teacher. But we, I, sh I mean, and then Kitty's like, wait, my mum and Mr. Lee? He's like, wait, what? Like, your mum? Like, are we, like, are we siblings? What's happening? Like, Alex got a bombshell dropped on him. Like, there are so many things happening. But I had, I have, and then... <coughs> um, Gina, um, Yuri's mom, was like burning a photograph of, of her and, and, uh, Kitty's mom. So I had a theory, cause like what, a uh, guy issue, maybe Yuri's mom and Kitty's mom were like lovers or, um, or they were best friends or whatever. But maybe I had a theory that maybe Gina is Alex, is Alex's mom and Eve, is it Eve or Eva? Eve, whatever Kitty's mom's name, she used, she let Gina use her name. Like, in the system, or whatever, to like protect her or something, or, like, wanted to help her out. So, maybe Gina is Alex's mom, low-key. That's, that's, like, because Gina has to be connected somehow. But I'm very intrigued. And then Yuri took... There was a gift for Day at his house, but Yuri took it because it was from Kitty. But, like, anyway, there are so many things happening. So, without further ado, let's just get right into episode six. Let's go. Can you at least put a shirt on when I'm eating? Okay. I see what's happening. So remember I said that I kind of stand me and her in episode 5. I was like, yeah, he's uh, episode 4 and 5. Like, he's actually a comedian. He's funny. He's probably one of my favorites. And then I saw a bit of him and Kitty, like, you know, they had the good banter going on. Interesting. Very interesting. It's not my fault you can't handle this. Right. <laughs> what's happening? Literally, what's happening? Is this real? Nah, man. I don't know. Go. Hold on. Hold on. I can't handle it. Oh, I too bloody hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's fake, right? This isn't real. She wouldn't say that. That's not real. This is a dream. This is fake. I don't accept. This wouldn't. No, that was cringe. It's fake. If you, she didn't say that line, I would have believed it. But then she's like, you're too bloody hot. She would never say that. She would never say that. That just seems weird. They're out of place. She wouldn't say that. Ma, it's fake, know. right? Ma. Nah, nah, nah. So, oh, but I like it, though. This is the thing. I like it. I like it. Like, I'm not opposed to this. Interesting. Ah! <laughs> Me and her was dreaming it. Dead! Okay. Him dreaming it is even funnier because, like, Kitty would never. Like, Kitty would never. But Me and her would. So, does that mean Me and her is getting feelings for Kitty now? Because he's dreaming about it. Boy, settle down, settle down. Of course, in his dream, she says to him, you're so bloody hot, that makes sense. Because Kitty's dream, she'll never say that. Obviously, it doesn't make sense. I thought, girl, but I'm not opposed to the idea. I'm not opposed. Just saying, I can get on board. But I've also been busy trying to figure out what my mom ever saw in Korean Snape. <laughs> Korean you Snape. I really need to focus on studying. I love my dad, the dad who raised me. I don't need to rush into this. This is true. This is true. I get it. This is true. Our sisters. I was thinking we could FaceTime them. Marco might be a little bit frosty at first. So what if we're wrong? Oh, what if we're right? Then we'll be enhancing everyone's lives. Stop. No, but see, okay. I get that she's excited because she might have a brother or whatever, but I... Something's telling me it's not her brother. I feel like it's Gina's son and it's Yuri's brother. Like, something... Something... There's something... Like, I don't know, man. Like, I know she's excited, but... She's getting too excited, and and this is like a serious. It's not like it's like a little you know fun thing. This is a serious thing. Like you can't just go and be you know. Oh, smart, you, go, you need to be one hundred percent sure that your mum and Mister Lee. You got to be a hundred percent sure, not ninety nine percent, one hundred. Because if you're that one percent wrong, it would be very awkward for everybody involved. So we need to make sure a hundred percent facts. We need to make sure our facts are one hundred percent before we continue. Plus, it's a lot for Alex. He's like, let him process everything. I know you're just trying to help, but not everyone's on your timetable. Yeah, 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 I agree. You are gonna wear Timino's Madness Party. I'm oh, it's going. a party. What? What? Why? It's the event of the year. The necklace was my mom's. I gave it today when his mom died. He doesn't know. Okay. Oh, he never got it. About this again? 
You're like a robot that's malfunctioning. <laughs> stuck on a loop. Let's ask about Q and, and Florian. you came here to have new experiences and live your life. I'm turning into LJ. <laughs> T. Sure. <laughs> I could kiss somebody tonight. Yeah, I will kiss somebody tonight. You two really bring out the best in each other. Mom, Do that, uh... your grades are up. You're not getting into any trouble. I'm proud of you. Have a good time. Okay, this is unusual behavior from the mom, from Gina, okay? I don't know, man. Gina's a little bit like, I love her, but like, she's got some secrets, and I don't know, man. But that was very, not out of character. Like, maybe this is the true Gina. Like, you know, I want her to be proud of her daughter. Like, I think without her dad involved, she's pretty great. I'm not yeah, I was gonna say she's not happy. Like she's not true happy. I rented the whole place out for us. My rules. My It must place. be nice to be rich. Really? What's that like? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know what? Yes, that's right. You walk in there and you should have that confidence. You walk in there, strike your stuff, make them more jealous. Make them all jealous. I gotta say, this is a better outfit than the the welcome party outfit. This one. This is the one. Who are you? <laughs> Wait till we find this kid, you know. He did the lip bite. Stop. He is whipped for her. I don't care what you say. But he, he doesn't know it's key. But once he finds out, I mean, his dream will just be elevated. I'm just saying. I knew it! <laughs> That's no, so funny. No, 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 no. Oh, my eyes. Oh, God. Why does he look so good? Why is he walking towards me? And smells good for No, me. but you don't want to annoy me. I'm sorry. He stands there. I doesn't do anything. He, like, he stands there and just stares at her. Like, okay, but talk to her. Like, I know he technically can't, well, he can, but like, he can't because of the NDA or whatever. But, like, clearly they need to talk, like, but they just stand there and stare at each other. I know she's trying to, like, kind of move on a little bit, but he keeps standing there, like, staring at her, like, you know. Like, boy, we know you still love her, or what, in love with her, or you, you like her, or whatever. Like, we know it's a girl. Underage drinking in Korea, huge no-no. People get cancelled for that. Well, lucky for us, I'm French. <laughs> Oh, he's dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Just look at the cameras. Cut the cameras. Like, I will put someone. Like, oh, okay. But then I'm like, God, no. Cut the cameras. Like, like get out of there. I just hope that they get caught for underage drinking. Cause like, if it's like, I can imagine like it'll be really bad in Korea if they get caught. So like, hopefully it'll be okay. He's a cheating, lying a hole who can't even say thank you. <laughs> He doesn't know about the gift. Thanks again. Man who knows how to say thank you. I like it. <laughs> that's so... No, that's so funny. Like, if she... I mean, obviously, if he got the gift, he would have been like, thank you so much, but he didn't get it. It's all this whole show was just a whole miscommunication. I love it. But at the same time, my girl. But like, it's, you know, they're teenagers. Let them have fun. There's no way any guy leaves you for Yuri. Oh. Well. Seriously, she's not even pretty. Oh no, and she is though, don't lie. It's not nice. Girls like Yuri are just overcompensating. No, say no, nah, red flag. He's talking shit about other people. No, I can't. First of all, you say Yuri is pretty. Are you blind? Like, serious, are you blind? Like, you have eyes, right? Like, she's gorgeous. Are you serious? Like, do not talk bad other women. That's just a red flag to me. It's you? That don't impress me much. <laughs> Girl, what's that? Seriously? Is she not a Yuri and I may not be friends, but who are you to talk about her like that? Okay! We are just here for your judging pleasure. Also, FYI, her nose is annoyingly perfect. <laughs> okay. I was just saying I'm on your side. Like, I know what he was trying to do, but, like, no. Like, you could tell that he was putting on a bit to, like, impress her or whatever. But, like, no. And I'm... You know what? I'm actually really shocked that Kitty actually defended Yuri. Because you would think that she'd be like, yeah, whatever, you know. But 
I mean, even Kitty knows that Yui's pretty. Like, even, like, she's not blind either. She's like, you can't say she's ugly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's no point bagging up. I like that they're not putting other women down. Because, obviously, she blames Day, not Yuri, for, like, you know, them being in a relationship. Because Day should have been the one to tell her. But even though it's fake. But you know what I mean. So, like, but I'm glad she didn't shit talk Yuri. That's nice to me. Like, I like that. Because that, I feel like Yuri and, and Kitty can actually become good friends, I feel. So, like, but that was nice of her. No, but why are they so cute, though? Okay, nah, but he was good. Did you see him? He was actually not too bad. Dad, you don't give yourself enough credit, okay? You don't give yourself enough credit. You, he was actually pretty good once he, like, loosens up and, you know, he, like, relaxed a little bit. So this is why him and you will be great friends. Because I feel like, you know, they've learned to respect one another and, like, they kind of, you know, they get comfortable with each other. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do, what do we mean, though? Okay, I can... Yeah, okay. Oh, that's a friend. Nice, nice, okay. nice. Do not show weakness. Give him bitch face. Okay. <laughs> He's like, hey! Amazing. I've made some matches with somebody who knows how to say thank you. What? Okay, maybe it's time we slow you down and yes. get some water. Let's dance. No, no, no. no. I want him to know. We're gonna go take a lap. Aww, I want to dance. Kitty. Not everyone's on kitty time. Okay, T. You sound like Alex. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Huh. Calling Alex is a really good idea. I was so excited to have a brother. Brother. <laughs> Brother. Girl, stop. It's <laughs> embarrassing. such a funny stop. word when you say it so much. No, Ande is drinking. Just... <laughs> you are just like, oh my god. It's alcohol. Hey, yeah, no, I cannot hear you. I am going to text you instead. Goodbye. Tea. Bye. Is she going to send it to the wrong teacher? Hey. I'm stressed. I'm oh, new teacher Lee. Idiot. Hey there. No, I knew she would do that. T girl, what a I know she's drunk, but like, she protected to. I knew she was protected to Mr. Lee. I knew it. Oh, the drama. The drama! That is so embarrassing. I cannot. Please don't make my night any worse. Hello? There's a party. I don't know where. Okay, there's, a, there's some shit going on here. Hello? Okay. Okay. Do they know that they had a kid? Do they know? I mean, like, wait. I, I don't know. If, I know. I don't know if Gina is the mother, but like, if she is, then like, maybe. Oh, I don't know. There's some weird alliance going on. Dinner and a movie, my ass. Oh, she knows they're going out to meet host party. I wanted to thank you. I want to kiss someone. I'm ready to kiss. Someone. But not him though. He's I'm the wrong ready one. To kiss someone. Not him. Nope. Thank you, Yuri. Remember how gross he seemed? Yeah, I was good. Thank God Yuri saved her, because, like, girl. Thank God. Thank you, Lip. Thank you. Now I'm stressed, but I thank you. Now, okay. You can do much better. Trust me. And then come watch my set. That's nice. And she cares about me. Yeah, see, that's nice. That's Am nice. I really that drunk, or is Yuri Han a good person? She's a good person, I feel. Last year, an idol's entire family was ruined because of an underage drinking scandal. I refuse to put my mother through that. I'll take the last night to take one. Okay. Okay, me and her. I kind of respect that a little bit because I mean, I, I you would you would think that he'd be the one who'd be like the alcohol, but like he isn't. He's actually trying to stop it. I think. So it's actually, it's kind of good that he's trying to do that, because, like, no, like, like, I mean, it's because he doesn't want to have a scandal. But, like, cause, I mean, if that gets out and it's in Korea, like, it's very bad. Like, he'll get cancelled, his mum will get cancelled, it'll be a whole thing. So, like, it's good that he's trying to stop it before anything happens. Okay, hello! Hey, guys. Oh, stop, really? What happened? Sorry, same shrugs. But no, you do charades. Just fucking tell him. Like, I know you're a little bit drunk. 
Like, <laughs> boy, it just fucking tell him it's a necklace. She gives you the necklace and you didn't, but she doesn't know. But just tell him, what's the, with the charades, man? Just fucking say it. Kitty's heartbroken that you didn't thank her or even acknowledge that she gave the necklace back to you. But he doesn't know about it. Gave it back to me? What a true sucker. Yeah, he knows, see? And just when he said to you, I think I like you as a friend, and that's and... Oh, it's just gonna... Just, why? Everyone's... This is what sort of it's annoying. Everyone's good people, or everyone's nice, you know? But things happen, and it makes them not look nice, but we know they're a good person deep down, but they're just... Oh. I've almost got it shut down. No, you don't. They don't respect you. Everyone, stop what you're doing! Hello, what's happening? Nah, see, I, that, that, they were lovers. They were lovers. Miss Sully and Gina were lovers. Let me tell you right now. Look at the way they're looking at each other. They're having a throwback moment. Watch. She's the mother. She had the baby. I'm telling you. Follow me. To the drama. Oh, Hello. Well, I like this remix, by the way. Can I just say, I love the remix. I, I must download it. Or, like, on Spotify, whatever. But, like, come on, man. If that did not solidify that they were a thing back years ago and they had the baby, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That solidified it to me. Because, I mean, no offense, but Gina deserves the world. You know what I mean? And the, her husband, G Yuri's dad, isn't a vibe. I hate him. But Gina deserves so much better. <laughs> amazing. What's happening? Is she falling for Yuri, low-key? Hold on. Oh, why does it feel like I've been zapped by a million volts of electricity when I look at her? Okay! Okay, hold on! I can have also talk about enemies to lovers, you know, Minho and, and Kitty. Any Mr. Lovers, Yuri and Kitty? Hello? I mean, listen. <laughs> not me shipping everyone at this point. But no, but listen, like, hear me out. I like it. L like, this is interesting. This is a very interesting development. I mean, I do wish Juliana was here. But, like, if Kitty has a crush on Yuri, like, that's kind of cute. Just saying. <laughs> I think Yuri took the necklace. I know Yuri makes you breathless. No, I said- I get it now. <laughs> You're in love with Yuri. I don't blame you. Okay. She's so not even on, hearing on, anything on. he's saying. He literally said the necklace and she's like breathless. Like she literally is just focusing all on Yuri. She's just like, she is queer coded this one. I can't, I'm so happy. Like she literally heard nothing Day said. She was all living in Yuri's world for a second. Girl, I know what you are. Is Minho jealous now? Hey, you. Oh, he only did the. Oh, but this is actually getting so messy. <laughs> like, this is really messy. We're gonna talk at the end, but like, oh my god. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> oh, the paparazzi. This is embarrassing. I'm stressed. So, what are we going to do about all this tension? But it's, she's dreaming. She's dreaming. Uh -oh. She's dreaming. Hitting each other? She is dreaming. You know how at the be beginning of the episode, me and her had the dream. Now I think Kitty's having the dream about Yuri. Oh my god, this is so funny. This is actually hilarious. No. I support this. I support this. No, is this real? No, it's a dream. It's a dream. It's a dream. I'm not getting my hopes up. Are you serious? I mean, it's a dream. She wouldn't cheat on Juliana like that. No, but... If it's a kitty's dream, I support it in her dream. Oh, 
No, I'm not going to play stuff what's happening. She's going to kiss and then they're gonna, she's going to wake up. I knew it! I know why that made me so happy. I love the parallels between the two dreams in the beginning and the end. Like, I love that Minho is the one that's called feelings for Kitty. And then Kitty's called feelings for Yuri. Like, it's so... This just... Okay. This episode just got the messiest so far. Because we have so many... It's not even a love triangle. It's like a fucking love quadrangle. Uh, like, it's a... I love Hexagon at this point. So Minho now has a crush on Kitty. He has feelings for her, I'm guessing. I mean, after the dream. And he, when you saw her in Day, he got jealous and he kissed that girl. Well, Monique Madison, what's her name? Because he's like, it's, you know, whatever. He's trying to get you. He has feelings now. Kitty, surprise, has feelings for Yuri. Like, I didn't actually see that coming, to be honest. I'm so glad that they did. They went this way because I'm very intrigued. And this is the thing. I ship it. And that's the real enemies to lovers. But Juliana is still part, a part of the equation. If there was no Juliana, I'd be like, go for it. But there's still Juliana in there, so I'm like, you know, I really like Juliana and Yuri. Like, I like what they have, but like, I want her to be there. I, I, would, I wish she was there, you know? But, like, I just, I just don't want Yuri to cheat on Juliana because, like, I, you know, Juliana's done nothing wrong. But, like... I love the development of Kitty having a crush on Yuri. I love that development. I love it. I think it's great. It brings another layer to the show. It's very messy. Like, I love it, though. Like, one thing I love about the show is that, yeah, like, I freak out about the ships and everything. But at the end of the day, it's not actually about the ships when you really read between the lines. It's about these kids discovering who they are. You know, Yuri discovering that... Oh, sorry, Yuri. Kitty discovering that she likes men and women, I'm assuming. But we'll find out when she has that conversation at some point. Or, like, you know, when she figures it out properly. But, like, it's a... It's, you know, it's them figuring out who they are, all their crush. It's not really about the ships. Yeah, they're... they're I mean, like, it's fun to watch. In the, it's just... It's fun to watch them all, like, interact and just, like, catch feelings. It's, it's like, hilarious. But at the end of the day, it's about Kitty discovering who she is and about all the kids, really, discovering who they are as, you know, and learning about themselves. And that's what's so good about this show, in my opinion. It's, yeah, it gets messy, but it's just so much fun, and, like, that's what it's supposed to be. Like, these teenagers, they, you know, they got one crush on someone, one, you know, next time it's another person. Oh, you know, it might be like men and women, or whatever the case may be. It's just nice to just see them figuring things out. It doesn't have to be perfect all the time, because that's not how real life is. It's supposed to be messy. It's supposed to be dramatic and, like, whatever. It's, it's refreshing, actually. But, like, I just, I really enjoyed that development. It's just... I, you know, it's just nice because, like, you know, he, I'm like, oh, Kitty and Yuri might become friends. Like, it's nice. And I feel like maybe they could be. But, like, when now Kitty's got feelings, like, who knew that was going to happen? But, um, man, and then Day, even Day, like, he was like, you know, to Yuri, I think I like you. And I don't know if he meant it in a romantic. I don't know what, in what way he meant it. I would assume as a friend, maybe more. But then he, for him finding out that Yuri took the necklace, like, he's like, he's like I thought we were friends, you know, took one step back. And then that's a whole thing. But also, Mr. Lee and Gina, I fully 100% believe that Gina and Mr. Lee had the baby together. Like, but I don't know, I'm not sure if Mr. Lee knew about the baby. Obviously, Gina knew about the baby. But like, I don't think Mr. Lee knew. Because obviously there's some, there's some romance there between them. Some unresolved feelings from like 30 years ago. And it's very interesting. And I kind of like it. And like that's what I'm like. Okay. Because like we need to get Gina away from Yuri's dad. Because he's fucking toxic. I, so we need, I, that's a very interesting development then too. So like oh my god. You know what? The tea is real this week. I love it. I think it's great. Uh, that was crazy. Um, what a way to start off the second half of the season. It's just going to get more escalating from here. But I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next. But, um, guys, and obviously Q and Florian, sorry. I didn't really get much, but, like, they were kissing and stuff, and it's nice. And, you know, even when Day was talking to Q, Day, uh, Florian was still, like, kissing him. Like, boy, he gives no, he has no shame. I love that. I love that for them. Give me more of them. Um, but, yeah, very interesting episode. Loved it.
Oh, so good. Um, so, guys, what did you think about this episode? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Love you all and ciao for now. Bye, guys.